Hi, right, it's time for another math easy solution. Uh, today we're going to discuss uh, further into linear differential equations and now look at example one of this video series and solve this differential equation dy over dx e plus 3x squared times y equals to 6x squared. So let's go ahead and solve this. And one thing we note is, well, note this is linear. This equation is linear. And this is because, as you can see, this is a function of x times by y here. And there's a function of x on the right side. In other words, if we recall from my earlier video, this is of the form y prime plus p of x, just a function like that. And in this case, p of x is this 3x squared times y equals 2q of x and where the right side is a function of x. So this is how a linear differential equation looks like and this one is uh, in that in, in this case. And again, make sure to watch my last video on uh, the linear differential equations with which I derive the solution to this. And in solving for this solution or finding the solution uh, y of x, from here we have to well recall uh, the integrating factor, which is the which is the factor we multiply on both sides and then from there we can integrate uh, the differential equation on both sides. So if you recall integrating factor, it was of the form, um, it's of the form i of x equals to, write this x a bit neater, i of x is equal to e to the power of p of x dx, where p of x is this term right here, and in our case it's 3x squared. So this would become e to the integral uh, 3x squared dx. And now we can solve this integral here inside that. That is just going to be, well, e to the, and then 3x squared integral of x squared is x cubed. This is going to be divided by 3. So this cancels. But we also have to add a constant of integration. We'll call this c. But uh, this would just equal to, well, e to the x cubed once you simplify. And then this constant, we'll just set that equal to uh, 0. And basically here, uh, what I did was I choose c is equal to 0. So c could be any constant. I choose it to 0 because we only want one of these integrating uh, factors. So we just want one, and then we can multiply it on here. Yeah, so we just need one, and that's, uh, again, in the final solution, there's going to be a constant anyway, and that's going to uh, affect the solution uh, at the end anyways. So we just choose that to be zero. So now we multiply both sides. So if you recall, we multiply uh, both sides or on both sides, on both sides of the differential equation. So what we get is a uh, e to the x cubed of this this uh, left side is dy over dx, etc. So dy over dx plus 3x squared y equals to 6x. Uh, yeah, I believe that's uh, yeah, 6x squared, 3x squared, and 6x squared. So we multiply on the left side and on this right side here. So multiplied. Let's put a big bracket here just to show we're doing both sides, e to the x cubed. So when we do this, what we end up getting is this e to the x cubed, and then this y, the derivative of dy over dx, you could write that as, uh, well, just y prime, just to make it easier to write. Same thing. And then this right, uh, this part here is going to be 3x squared e to the x cubed y equals 2 just to write this neater, uh, 6x squared times e to the x cubed. And now the whole idea of doing this, uh, multiplying by the integrating factor as shown in my last video, is that, well, uh, if we recall, uh, the whole idea is when we take, oh, so let's ignore recall, so basically recall from my last video, just to give some space here, um, the, the reason we're doing this is this is equal to the derivative d over dx of the integrating factor, let's write i of x, i and then times y. So it's integrating factor of i times y, and we could even prove that here. Basically, um, the derivative d over dx of i of x, or I, I of x in our case is e to the x cubed times y. 
is equal to well you just use the product rule so product rule here we'll do derivative of y first so we put this in there derivative of y is y prime and then we add and then take the derivative of e to the x cubed is just e to the x cubed apply chain rule so multiply by the inside uh, derivative uh, x cubed is going to be 3x squared like that so put the 3 down and then minus 1 for the power and then we times that by the y so as you can see this is the exact same thing here so this equals to this and then this we could bring this down here uh, whoops yeah, whoops. so bring it down so this is going to be equal to 6x squared uh, 6 not e 6x uh, squared times e to the x cubed so then th what this means is as this derivative is equal to this side so then now we have a separable equation when you look at the left and the right and what I'll do is I'll move the d over dx onto this side here and then we can integrate it so that's the whole idea of disintegrating factor as explained in my last video so make sure to watch it so what we end up getting is d of uh, this one e to the x cubed times y is equal to 6x squared e to the x cubed uh, and then this is dx then we integrate both sides like that and I'm gonna move this over just a bit to the left save some space and now what we have here the left side uh, the integral on the left side is well actually this one's uh, easy to do that's just e to the x cubed times y but first what I'll do is I'll simplify this one here by letting let u equals to because this is uh, not too straightforward e, let u equals to e to the x cubed so that the differential du will have integral I mean the derivative of this is going to be e to the x cubed uh, let's move it around e to the x cubed by chain rule 3x squared then du and if you notice here, this is pretty much the exact same thing here, except this is 6x squared e to the x cubed, uh, and then uh, this is dx, not du. Yeah, my mistake. So now that we have that, yeah, this is pretty much the exact same thing here, except that there's a 3 instead of a 6. So what we'll do is we'll multiply both sides by 2, so that this whole thing equals to uh, 2 du. So then this equals 2, and we just replace this whole thing that's going to be 2 du. So what we end up having is uh, these two sides, put those down, we're going to have integral d over e x cubed y is equal to integral 2 du. And then the left side is going to be, well this left side is going to be, uh, this is just d, there's nothing there, it's just a constant uh, 1, you could look at it that way. So then an integral of this is just going to be e to the x uh, cubed times by y, and then we have to add a constant of integration, we'll call it c1, because we'll have one here. Integral of 2 du, that's just 2u plus c2. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the c1 on the other side, and then combine it into one constant. So what we get is e to the x cubed, y is equal to 2, and then u, recall u, is e to the x cubed. e to the x cubed plus c, where, like always in my, early, in my earlier videos, I always do this, c is just equal to c2 minus c1. A subtraction of constants is still a constant, like that. And then we just divide both sides by e to the x cubed. Move that around, e to the x cubed. So when we do this, uh, these cancel, this cancel, then we'll have the e to the x cubed on this side. So what we'll finally get is y of x is equal to... So then this cancels, uh, and then this is going to be 2, because those cancel, and then plus c divided by e to the x cubed, or plus c times e to the negative x cubed. Just put a negative, same thing as dividing by it. And there is our solution. Yeah, and now the next step is, well, if you want to just graph it, just to see how the solutions are with different constants. If you go, this is a pretty cool calculator, this is desmos.com slash calculator. This is the best graphing calculator, one of the best I've seen. And uh, you just plot, plot these here. I have for c is equal to 2, 1, 0, negative 1, negative 2. And you have something like this. And here I've copied and pasted that graph over here, and just so I could write on it. And so basically the red one here, this is when c is equal to 2. So I'm just plotting it. 
and then C is here is a blue is equal to um, a one and then this flat line is C is equal to zero because if it's zero then you just have Y of X is just equal to two that just goes to zero and then this bottom one here C is equal to negative one and then this one here C is equal to negative two that's this color and as you can see what happens uh, yeah everything is uh, this one when it's greater than zero you have it uh, above this two mark this is uh, this is y equals to 2 and then below it goes something like this but regardless both of these uh, both the top and bottom whatever the c value is as you're approaching infinity so whenever you're approaching uh, as you see how it's, how it's approaching whenever you're approaching or as x is approaching infinity what we have is y approaches 2 so approaches this 2 line you could zoom in you'll see it never touches it but it's always approaching it yeah, it's always approaching it for whatever a constant value is. But if it's zero, then it is two the whole time. That's flat line. So yeah, that's pretty interesting. Anyways, that's that's all for today. Hopefully, you learned from this pretty uh, interesting example and uh, detailed example on solving uh, this linear differential equation as well as the graph. Anyways, that's all for today. If you learn, like always, you can download these exact notes in the link below. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for another math easy solution.